Hello, my name is Nick Plensky, reporting for the RSNA Daily Bulletin. I'm here at RSNA 2019 with Dr. Miriam Edesami to discuss her research into the effects of screening mammography for women between ages 40 and 54. Uh, to start, could you give us a little background on your study? Yeah, thank you. Uh, so we know that there has been controversy when women with average risk should start screening mammography. Different societies and expert panels in the United States have been giving different recommendations ranging from starting at age 40 to 50. Uh, so and the reason for this usually has been some um, weighing of the risk and benefits of a screening mammogram. And they say that there has been um, lower cancer detection rate with a screening mammogram in younger women uh, while there is higher false positives, recalls, or biopsies in women, especially in the uh, 40s. Uh, so we have to see if uh, this has been true the same with the new technique that is the digital breast synthesis that has become more widespread in the United States and now worldwide. And is that the digital breast synthesis can help us uh, change this balance if we can't find more the cancers in younger women while we have less false positives. And could you t describe your study for us, please? So to look at this uh, objective, we looked retrospectively at all our screening mammograms that were performed with digital breast tumor synthesis in women aged 40 through 54. We subcategorized our patients to five-year increments, uh, 40 to 44, uh, 45 to 49, and uh, 50 to 54 years old, that's the group that everybody agrees definitely should get the screening mammogram. And then we compare the uh, screening performance metrics uh, in all these three age groups and also the characteristics of the cancers that were detected by this screening. And what were the key results? So our study showed that actually cancer detection rate between uh, three age groups is comparable uh, this highest cancer detection rate it was in women in age 50 to 54 with about 4.6 cancers per 1,000 screening mammograms, but it was comparable with 4.1 cancers per 1,000 screening mammograms in women 45 to 49. It was a little bit lower in 40 to 44, but it still was 2.8 cancers per 1,000 cancers. Uh, recall rate was a little bit higher in younger women in 40 to 44 years old, but uh, anybody who interprets breast imaging knows that uh, maybe the distribution of baseline mammograms is different in these three age groups. So we saw that 26% of our um, mammograms performed with age 40 to 46 are actually baseline mammograms compared to only 4 or 2% in older women. So then we uh, separated these uh, baseline mammograms from non-baseline mammograms and see if there is a still any difference in cancer uh, in recall rate. And we saw that if we evaluate all the baseline mammograms in three different age groups, there was no difference in if they are 40 to 44 or older. And also if we looked at the non-baseline mammograms, it's still there was no significant difference in the recall rate. So most likely one of the important differences in these age groups is that, that they are getting more baseline mammograms in younger women. Uh, our biopsy rate was not that different in all three age groups. It was very low at 4.1.4%. And then we also found that uh, the cancers that we are finding uh, with the screening mammogram in the younger women actually are more um, aggressive cancers, higher grade. About 30% of cancers in the age 40 to 44 were actually poorly differentiated. 50% were moderately differentiated. And also the receptors are more of those poorly diagnosed and prognostic receptors like uh, HER2 positive or triple negative cancers were about 30% of cancers that were detected in younger women at age 40 to 44 um, compared to about 17% in older women. What do these findings mean for women aged 40 to 49? So I think it's, our study shows that uh, if we use a digital breast tumor synthesis, um, it even further uh, shows that it is an effective tool for screening for breast cancer. Um, if we find comparable cancers than those at age 50 or higher. Uh, the recall rate is slightly is higher in the younger women, but most likely this is because of baseline mammograms. If you shift the time you start the screening mammograms, you will have that baseline mammograms at an older age 
but it's still with higher recall rate and we just lose the opportunity to find those aggressive cancers at an earlier stage. Thank you, Dr. Edisami. This has been Nick Klensky reporting for the RSNA Daily Bulletin. You can find more RSNA 2019 news at rsna.org slash bulletin. Follow us all year at rsna.org slash news.